Nick Jones is with us, our Ask the Expert, who has hot-footed it here from... You're a busy man, aren't you, at the moment? Always, so. yeah, always. Always. T try and keep yourself busy. Talking about... We were talking earlier with Mark about people sort of spinning plates. Yeah. You spin quite a few. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I woke up this morning in Windsor, uh, been to a conference, uh, had breakfast, and dashed 160 miles, whatever it is, to spend the afternoon with you. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we so much appreciated, sir. So Thank you. But I know, because we were talking about this just after last month's show, yeah. planning what we were going to talk about today yeah and i know that this project you want to just tell us a bit about now is something you've been working on for well for how long quite a while S seemingly years but not really no it um it's probably been six months uh rebranding yourself rebranding yeah absolutely so we've had a process we've en engaged with lots of people engaged with external specialists uh, and we're able to launch the brand today so it's all come together on exactly the right time which doesn't always happen so you're giving us an exclusive here on SBL absolutely TV. this is excellent why go go back to the beginning before we actually yeah. reveal some of the some of the thought patterns yeah why rebrand and why now yes yeah, so the original the Throgmorton brand uh, was created when the guys joined St James's Place in 2009 um, and as lots of brands it's, it's just it was originally just just words there was nothing really that you could use on a logo on merchandise or on client gifts or or polo shirts for golf days or this sort of thing so um, uh, so we were thinking about modernising. Also, the St James's Place um, UK PLC brand has been changed, and that was quite a long process. And now the new current version of the St James's Place brand doesn't really mix with ours. And sometimes we have co-branded literature um, and, and business cards, stationery, letterheads, this sort of thing. And, and, our, and ours conflicted with it almost now. Right. So, so we had to we had to bring it. Um, more compatible with the St James Place corporate version, but also something that's more practical for us going forward. In various guises over the years, I've worked on several rebranding projects, and it's a very subjective thing, isn't it? Massively. You'll, you'll prefer one logo, I'll prefer a different one, and there's no rhyme or reason. And everyone's right. Yeah, right. absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. So. And you'd never say, well, that's wrong. You've, you've just got to sort of incorporate the views and then blend them together going forward. So, so what do you do with that? Ask, you, you say, right, oh, blank piece of paper. Yeah. Give us your ideas, folks. Yeah, yeah, kind of. This was quite a structured process, though. So, so we engage with our team because um, we've got 45 members of staff be from advisors to support team uh, in Shrewsbury and in Enderby. Uh, and uh, hello to all the guys watching from home. But, but what, what's nice with that is that actually everyone's got ideas. Everyone really enjoyed being part of the process. Um, and the first thing that we did was to, to ask them to give them give us their thoughts on working with Throgmorton and, and how they feel about the firm. We've got a word cloud here, haven't we? Let's have a look at this because this gives you an idea. So these are some of the, Brilliant. the the team values that people come up with so you've then Absolutely. got to turn this yeah yeah into so a logo a brand and yeah so we had, so we had these words that uh, that were created from this from this exercise and the ones that are larger you know how work, word clouds work the ones that are larger have been repeated more often so trusted came through loud and clear caring professional friendly integrity teamwork customer care and as as a as a board to, to read these words that our staff think of working with the firm fantastic you know, it's absolutely it really, it's quite humbling. And, and that's what we hoped that people would feel. And people I was going to say, feel. the first thing when you do something like this is you hope the words you want to see are there. You hope it? they're so, positive so, yeah, for a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, you throw, you throw yourself you open there and, and being honest and trustworthy. And yeah. this is all what we would hope that we portray to the outside world. But if our guys are actually feeling that, then it's a really good sign. So how do you then translate that? Into yes. the next stage. Yeah, so this was the values, and there was a document that was pulled together that we then uh, created a branding sort of scoping out thing that went to the designers, and then they come up with some ideas bearing in mind, because each time they do this for a business, they'll have different words, they'll have different feeling, different culture, mm. uh, that they're trying to represent with the logo, and the logo is not just a logo, it is representing the brand, isn't it? So mm. trying to represent all of this in a few words and a couple of images is quite difficult. Uh, let's have a look at this next slide now, because this is where you, yeah. you, you'd gone to the next stage of starting yeah. to come up with an idea here. Yeah. So, so talk us through this one. So part of our part of our conversations were about you know what's important to us as a, as a business, what sort of stakeholders do we have? So we so the designer came up with this as a concept that we have the four circles. We've got um, Throgmorton ourselves. We've got St James's Place, which are fundamentally providing lots of the services behind the scenes. We've got our clients, and we've got our local communities. Um, and the idea being that the four of them are really intermediate because if we're not looking after our communities and we're, we're missing a trick and we're not doing what we want to um, we need to work very closely with St James's Place um, we need to really look after our clients um, and if one thing isn't working then the rest doesn't really work so they brought this together and then created it as a flower and it looks like something that's flourishing and and growing so and, and that kind of resonated so that was quite nice along the idea as it says here of 
together stronger, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Thing, yeah. Isn't it? So. Yeah, there's no good concentrating on one area and the rest is kind of left. And so, so we definitely, uh, and we talk about 100 year business and we want our team to be engaged and we mm. have the next generation of advisors joining us along the way and mm. older, older and more experienced advisors retiring. But it's not a clip edge thing, it's a, it's a gradual process and we want to make sure that everyone in every role has got support mm. uh, and, and that clients really fundamentally are never forgotten in all of this. Yeah. So you've got that far. Yeah. What next? So next, they, they drafted well. They drafted two or three versions of a logo before, and then this was the, the, the selected one from the, from these reasons, mm. um, and then the one that resulted from it. Is like Here this. it is. So so the purple was a um, controversial colour. Uh, we had we had a choice. There was there was a salmon, there was a blue, and there was the purple. Um, internally, all the team that uh, that were asked mostly preferred the blue and whether that's just because uh, we've always had blue yeah, in, in the, yeah. and you know looking at the surrounds and things there's blue is very popular corporate color but when we started asking clients massive landslide to purple oh, okay. so we actually bent and went with the client view because it, it's because important when you're rebranding you have mm. to also consider what's it going to look like on a website it's going to yeah. look like on a business card yeah. what's it going to look like on a pull-up banner yeah, yeah. On, a, on, on an app what's, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, what, exactly. absolutely all so. of those all of those things are in your mind so yeah. it's got to be something that's transferable but it's it's got to go uh, in line with the, the st james's place logo as well so and it, and it does all that and it ticks all the boxes and like all these things it takes a little while to get used to and um, it, it's for us it's taken a while to get used to and some of the teams still aren't convinced i've got to be honest uh, but they were quite contrarian about the previous one and some would have kept the old logo you know, yeah. and, and the, the fear of change is, I, just, I think there's a natural reluctance to change in any human being they just have a yeah. different it's yeah. well i mean you'll know from your business it's attitude to risk isn't it absolutely is that what it is that, that's so, right yeah yeah so if you're in a comfort zone and things mm. are okay why why take a risk and why why move on mm. and why progress but actually everyone now is on board with this being the way forward yeah. so we haven't got anybody who's going to use different business cards or, no. or letterheads uh, and they and they, they were all given out last week to the to the guys and mm. say they will be used to them now and clients will start seeing them on the website mm. uh, and it, and it's, it's good you know it's it's a f refreshed brand that really does represent us going forward and has the story with the circles yeah. and it makes sense once you've explained it to somebody yeah. otherwise they just think oh yeah okay yeah. nice yeah. pattern yeah. yeah so yeah but alongside that then are mm. there any structural changes to the business is it just the brand no. that's changing what else is happening underneath it Pure, purely a branding exercise this was a rebranding so the external signage at willow house west on the business park in shrewsbury is being changed today mm. uh, i was going to send you images of that happening but i'm here and he's over there so we'll get it on our socials for yeah, you. yeah, yeah. absolutely we'll share it anon but uh, but then you know the signs are massive and, and they and they they're designed particularly to to a, a find, allow people to find us because it's mm. a big business park there's a lot of businesses on there um, so that's happening we've got uh, we've got our golf marathon challenge on the 4th of august so we've had a logo that's been put on to the prostate cancer uk polo shirts we've yep. bought uh, so they, they'll look smart so we'll look the piece for those um, and it's just going on every, everything that we need to brand really but it won't be immediate it's just along the way you so. have to just whenever anything needs refreshing it's the yeah. next thing it's done yeah we don't it? want to throw out thousands of letterheads no, just because no. we've changed the branding yeah. so yeah, yeah. How's the golf challenge going? How's the preparation going? <laughs> um, it's been a we, bit warm for. Uh... It's it's very warm. It's warm here today, but it, it has been been quite warm. Um, and we're all we're all just trying to get a bit better at golf mm -hmm. in these early stages, and then the fitness thing will come along the way. But yeah. it's not that long now, is it? No, it's, you, well, you've got four or five weeks to go, haven't you? Yeah, so, uh... yeah. So it's four, four, four full eighteen holes uh, rounds uh, on the one day. So we're starting mm -hmm. about five, five twenty, whenever daylight is on the fourth of August, uh, and then finishing about nine o'clock at night, hopefully before it gets dark. There wouldn't be enough hours in the day for me to complete <laughs> four eighteen holes of golf with you, or have enough golf balls to carry with me. I don't think. So, have you set yourself any targets in terms of you know what you're hoping to raise? Or uh, we've got. I think. I think mentally we're thinking a thousand pounds. The website currently might say seven fifty, and we're about five hundred and forty pounds of that. Something mm. the company have sponsored uh, a chunk. So there's two hundred and fifty pounds from the firm, which is a great start. Yeah. Um, and we're running a bit of a competition. So if people want to go on, on to the website and sponsor us, um, and then they just leave their guess about how many total shots we take so the com combined for the four of us in four rounds how many will it be and it's going to be quite a few it's going to be we, we think between 1200 and 2000 but we don't know and it could be more could be less that's Who good knows? fun that is. So, yeah. so just so which website is that all on uh, so it's on bitly bitly.com yeah. slash throg golf all in word excellent mm. great talking of um charitable endeavors by the way i saw you mm. posted the picture earlier this week mm. of the almostly completed building that you were helping out with when you went out to nepal, in nepal. that must have been great to see oh it's amazing every time you see it, it's emotional 
because you, you remember when it was when it was there and when we were working on it and we were digging a big hole for a water tank that was oh. going to be put on there and wheeling thousands of tons of hundreds of tons of stuff uh, and actually now to see it and it's almost completed it's pretty much fitted out they've just got to get the internals done now and then there'll be young people in there that will be learning the trades that can then go and change their lives and go back to their villages and, and actually set up businesses and teach other people the same skills so it's amazing it is amazing I mean that's a proper feel good task to feel like you've oh. been involved in isn't it that so yeah are yeah. you hoping you might be able to go out and See it I, I think I'm course. hoping so, yeah, and I'm also hoping that I might get involved in another one down the line you know, in a couple of years, yeah. maybe three years at least, because uh, I went, I was lucky enough to take Ethan this time, I, I, who's now 21, yeah. and his younger brother Zane is coming through, he's 15, to, so to share a similar experience with him yeah. on a different site but with the same charity, yeah. that'd be amazing, because oh, we, we loved it so much. Absolutely. Mm. I can't let you go though, in your role as a wealth manager, without mm. giving us a few top tips, how should we be feeling at the moment, what's the word on the streets, you know, there's been lots of negative headlines over the past yeah. couple of weeks and the yeah. accusations the Bank of England don't know what they're doing and all the statistics yeah. can't be trusted and yeah. what, what are clients saying to you at the moment, what are they worried C about? Generally, people are worried about the rise of interest rates. Most people have got some sort of fixed rate anyway, so it hasn't impacted on them immediately. But they may well have a, a term that's coming to an end in the next six months, mm. two, three years. And where the interest rate is at that point is going to be a concern. Yeah. So we're not foreseeing any dips in, in rates anytime soon. We do encourage people to fix if they can. We, we wouldn't encourage people to pay, pay big fees or fines, just change their deal early, um, because we don't know what the things will be like in, in a year or two. So, so there's a good chance that interest rates will drop a bit. Inflation will come down a bit, inevitably, because with, with the energy costs coming down, and we've seen some of those coming in, the price caps have been reduced. So, so inflation will start dipping. But the inflation that we actually are, are subject to ourselves personally is very different to the headline rate. So you and I will be spending money on lots of different things yeah. and all of those have gone up. You know, there's no, there's no, no, no um, two ways about it. Fuel's coming down and they say your domestic bills are coming down, um, but not quickly enough, I don't think. But they, they reckon this weekend's the time you've got to take a metre reading, don't they, to make sure? Yeah, that gonna... yeah, that's been the advice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, just so you've got a line in the sand for whatever yeah. happens next. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's, it's fascinating time. Most clients are more worried about um, their, their children, their grandchildren getting on a housing ladder. That's, mm. that's, a, that's a big thing. So, so lots now aren't, aren't waiting till they die and giving money in a will. They're actually, if they can, they're lending money now or gifting money um, and helping to have a larger deposit that then means that a, a house might be affordable. But the pricing has gone crazy. Um, from historic high rates, then it was never such a such a, a multiple of your income yeah. that you were we were committing to your just paying a mortgage. Um, mm -hmm. So so it's, it's, it's a lot of people feeling the squeeze. But the message, as always, have a plan, calm. You know, have a chat with someone. Don't just take advice from the guy at the end of the bar. Uh, don't just follow what your neighbour's doing over the fence. Do, do, you know, have have an actual plan yourself. Um, we are all on in the same in the same storm, but the boats that we're in are probably different. So yeah, yeah. Um, that's uh, an analogy that's been driven quite quite recently and actually it, it's true and that's how people react longer term is generally you know have the money that you need set aside in a bank account it's an emergency fund get the rest working a bit harder you know and it will go up and down if you're paying in monthly going up and down is good because you're buying more units if there is a dip and um, you don't need the money immediately so longer term savers like pension uh, sent pensions uh, maybe ISIS stocks and shares versions uh, they will long term be decent yeah. but short-term volatility is, is going to be accepted and that's the price you pay hold your nerve a bit hold your nerve yeah and if you panic and sell at the exactly the wrong time you're going to make the loss and then you're not going to get back in on time yeah. and and i think behaviorally we are, are renowned for advising our clients longer term and almost talking them off the ledge uh, yeah. and and that makes quite a difference there are some studies out that you know it can make a four or five percent a year difference in your returns if you don't do the wrong thing at the wrong time yeah. uh, and generally it's just because you feel that you have to so now you've got apps you've got websites you've got online valuations available mm. you can quite easily get depressed every day if it's down a little bit yeah. don't get too happy if it's up a little bit and then that repeat and the next morning do the same again and you know, checking too soon is as bad as never checking yeah yeah and yeah. you, but it can be quite addictive, can't it? Absolutely. That's the, that's yeah. the, that's the I want it now mentality and the fact yeah. you can check your, your statuses on everything all the time, yeah. can't yeah. you? But, uh, yeah. I was at a meeting last week and they were talking about that the average length of time that a, uh, an investor in America holds a, a, a stock for mm. a week. They yeah. buy it and then they sell it within a week and if it's gone up a bit, it's gone down a bit, then they'll try something else. Yeah. That's not long-term investing. You know, there's, there's no sense to that almost. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. Interesting times, I think, is the phrase, isn't it? Always. Let me say to you, happy new brand. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see <laughs> you. And uh, we'll uh, have a chat with you next month. See you next Thanks month. Thanks very Thanks much, Nick.